Hello, my name is Aaron and welcome to Board Games, Bricks, and Hobbies. This is a series where I take a look at five games that used to be in my collection and I let you know what my ratings were and why I got rid of them. Alright, so first up on this list is another Cranium game. This is Who Knew? Uh, it's kind of a get-to-know-you game, uh, geared primarily towards families. Uh, the problem with this one is that the cards are fairly generic, so if you play it with the same group more than one time, you're probably going to end up seeing mostly the same stuff. Uh, and while it does work as kind of a get-to-know-you game for general audiences, uh, it doesn't really have a lot of staying power. It's a 5 out of 10 for me. Uh, next game is Ziggity or Cranium Ziggity. Uh, it's kind of a take on Uno. It does come with some pretty cool uh, clear-backed cards uh, that are plastic and waterproof, uh, but it's essentially a variant on Uno where you do different things depending on the color. Uh, and so that's a 5 out of 10 from me. The next game here is Dead Last. Uh, now this is a game that I really wanted to like. Um, I got it and I was really excited for it. Uh, it's essentially a giant version of The Prisoner's Dilemma. Uh, and you're just using game theory to try and single out opponents because you want to not be the one that's voted off but you also want to vote in the majority, and you're essentially voting until one player remains, uh, and that person gets the gold, and you go to a certain number of points. Uh, this game is just a 6 out of 10 for me, uh, and the reason why is that it just never really clicked. Uh, the game is intended to be as open-ended as possible. The instructions say you can leave the room, you can text each other, you can make up secret handshakes. Uh, you can do whatever you want to coordinate your vote. Uh, the thing is, I never really saw this happen. Uh, and maybe if it was played in a different environment, perhaps a convention, or, or even like a summer camp, I feel like this would be a good uh, summer camp game uh, for kids. Uh, but as it stands, it just didn't really work in a typical game night setting. Uh, so that's why I got rid of it. Uh, next game here is Exploding Kittens. Now, if you like the game, that's that's fine. Uh, I, I think it's 4 out of 10. Um, it's essentially kind of a, another version of Uno. Uh, and yeah, you play cards and kittens blow you up. Uh, I get the appeal, uh, but for me, I just didn't really like it that much. Plus, Everyone already owns it, so much like Cover Your Assets, I didn't really see the need to own my own copy. Um, and also, I'm not a huge fan of the art and some of the humor. It's just a little too weird for my taste. Uh, but if you like it, that's fine. Uh, then I can play your copy, because uh, everyone has it. Uh, the last game on this list is a game that's far worse than any of the games that I've talked about before, and that is Fact or Crap. Uh, fitting name, actually, uh, given that it's a 2 out of 10. It's a terrible game. Uh, essentially, one player reads a card and everyone has to say if it's fact or crap, and you get a token if you get it correct. Um, the game lasts way too long uh, because you essentially take chips in and out of the middle until no chips are remaining. So if people keep getting the questions wrong, it's never going to end. Um, and yeah, it's just a simple trivia game uh, where every answer you have a 50-50 shot of getting it right. Uh, really just not a great game. Uh, I would play apples to apples or pretty much any other game over this. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the last game here. Uh, let me know your thoughts about these games in the comments. Uh, do you still own them? Uh, let me know if you like them or not, or if you also didn't really feel like they had much staying power. Until then, I hope to see you again in another video. Take care. Bye.